Hey everyone, I hope you're all okay. Welcome to episode four, and today I'm gonna to be tying the whipping knot. This knot is most commonly used when tying D or chod rigs. It can also be used to tie spaded end hooks. It can be quite a difficult knot to tie, but practice makes perfect, so let's just get started. To begin tying the whipping knot, take your desired length of the material that you're going to be using. In this case, I'm just using some semi-stiff braid. Start by making yourself a loop, and then take your hook, and just clamp that between your fingers and the hoop there. So you've got a little tag end hanging out. Okay, position that so you can start. Okay, so here we go. What you want to do first of all is just take the loop and wrap it around the shank of the hook once up going up the shank then you want to carry on going round the shank of the hook with five more turns but you want to come down past that original loop that you made so we're going to go around five times in this case and just clamp that between your fingers you end up with a small tag end what you want to do is Pull that tag end, pull it down, not so tight, don't pull it completely tight yet. Okay, you end up with something that looks a little bit like that. At this point, you just want to pull your the knot down the shank of the hook to set it wherever you, you want to set it. And in this case, I'm just going to set it opposite the barb. Okay, pull that down as tight as you can and then take your scissors and just chop off that tag end, that's no longer needed. Okay. So you end up with something that looks a little bit like that. Then what you want to do, if you're using this as a D-rig, take your micro hook swivel there, just thread that on the line, get that down there and out of the way. Take the tag end, Pass it back through from the back to the front of the eye. And pull that down. And at this point, this, you want to set the size that your D is going to be. So it's completely up to yourself. I like a, quite a small one to be fair. And then what you want to do is just start to tie yourself a knotless knot. We're just going to go with a five turn knotless knot. Pull that down nice and tight, and there you go. There's your whipping knot. That's all ready to go out and catch some fish. So that's how you tie the whipping knot. I hope you found this video useful, and until next time, good luck with your fishing and tight lines. <laughs>